Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky to film now that I've ruined my tripod, so we've got this weird angle, but I'm going to try and show you how annoying it is to take off all this makeup. I mean, yesterday, maybe I wasn't systematic enough or whatever, but I feel like it's going to be the same. Yes, I'm not wearing the setting powder, but it took me a long time yesterday to make sure my face was clean, so let's have a go at it. So the main thing I'm going to be using is this oil-free eye makeup remover, which apparently is stronger than regular makeup remover, so that's great because I have have eyes but everything else I just want to get it all off. To go with that I've just got regular cotton balls cheap stuff. And then these are the leftovers of little packs of makeup remover that I've collected over the years. This one's a little bit weak and then this one's dried out so I have to put a bit of water on it to sort of make it happen again. But you can kind of see why neither of them are gonna work. You know weak stuff, old stuff. I'm probably being a little bit too cheap keeping old things around and not getting new stuff but we'll get there eventually see how long like you know I might as well use what I've got now and I'll think about better products later anyway first things first I got to take off all this extra stuff bye bye spiky bracelet and blah blah hospital thing ah, I should probably take off the neck spikes as well because I'm gonna be washing my face at the end of it it's gonna drip everywhere I'm trying to remember where even is the camera for me to look at you I'm looking at the wrong place Definitely need to take these off because I'm going to be using my arms, my hands, I don't want it to drip all over me. Oh, fine, I'll take off the necklace as well. God, I really blinged up to go into the city and I was only there for like maybe an hour. <laughs> I just got in and out, too many crowds. Alright, let's take that off. Gotta leave the headband on for obvious reasons, but glasses have got to come off. And you can see the little marks that it made while I was out. I've also got to clean these, so I might clean those first. Oh yeah, I've also got a box of tissues and I'm going to be throwing everything in the bin here, but that's all off camera. Oh, that's the last makeup wipe in there. Right, well I reckon this will be enough for this one. Yay, that came up real good! Now of course without glasses, I'm a little bit blind. I don't know that I want to use this all up in one go, so I'm going to start off with the hardcore stuff and see how much I can get off and try and be systematic about it, but you know. Gotta shake up the stuff first. Okay, and then I'm just gonna like puff this up a little bit. Give us some more surface area or whatever. So yeah, usually I'd only do my eyes, but I don't know, where do I even start? I'll just start trying to wipe off things. Yeah, look. Look how much that is! Bloody hell. Yeah, I feel like it's going better seeing as I'm like going straight to the strongest product and being systematic. I might just do like one half of my face first and then we can see and like compare it. Ah, just noticing, so I did have dinner before filming this, and so some of the lippy has come off. Um, it's still like a bright pink, but I think like the darkest purpley bits where I probably overdid it a bit, that's come off. But yeah, overall, still got some color, so I don't know, I would like to try a black lip stain and see if that stays on more, or if it goes to like this kind of more chilled out color, I don't know. But I wonder if that's more the color that it's meant to be when I haven't put it on, I don't know. But it's a fine, it's a nice enough color. Guess we'll find out in a moment how much of the color came off and how much is still on versus my actual lip color. It's really hard to get this stuff off though, so. I'm gonna try one of the dried out pad thingies. Probably put too much water on it, oh my god. I don't know if that's doing anything. I'm just getting drips everywhere. Ah! Okay, so this is me with a half-half face. Um, you can see quite a difference, like there's actually that physical line down the middle of my face. Um, with the lippy, I think I did probably eat most of it off, so um, there are some bits that I can't quite clean off. Um, but yeah, I think it didn't stay as well as I hoped. And now I'm sort of like, should I have forgiven the black lipstick? Should I have thrown it in the bin? Should I dig it out? But it's quite old. So that was back when I was doing probably my colored hair back at fur. So that's 
oh my God, that's probably 10 years old. So it's probably, I probably shouldn't keep it. I should get something else. But um, I think probably the reason that this lip stain looks better is just because it's a closer color to my actual lip so that when it comes off, um, it's less noticeable. So that's probably all. It's not that it stays any better. So I need to investigate and I probably would get black rather than purples, like find a black one that stays. But um, yeah, no, still like for practice, looks nice, it's so much easier to use than a lipstick. But anyway, so um, yeah, it took a while to get it off. I will do like a proper clean of both sides because I've still got like little bits of crap everywhere. But I just want to show you like, you know, half, half face, a little bit freaky. <laughs> but um, fun. Okay, I'm going to take the rest off. It's going better than it did last night though. And I think it's because I did jump to that extra strong product and a bit more systematic. So I remember where I'm up to. And so when I go over my face, like I'm not coming up with as much leftover foundation bits as I did last night and I was like oh my god how do I clean this so it's going better this time all right let's get the rest of it off So I'm probably a little bit more obsessive <laughs> about this than maybe some girls are or I don't know, but um, I really do want to get as much off as I can to, you know, avoid skin problems. So, I mean, you know, hopefully I'm not overdoing it and ruining my skin with removal products instead, but yeah, I'm trying to get everything off and if I keep finding little bits on my cotton ball, um, then I just keep going until I stop finding anything anymore. <sighs> I think I'm just about there, but see, this is the thing that takes the longest, is trying to make sure I got it all off. I think I'm going to do an all-over wipe with this thing and then I'll chuck some more eye makeup remover on it and then maybe I'll be done. I'll just wash my face with water and um, put the pimple cream on, put the moisturizer on and hope that gets me through the night. Tomorrow's cleaning day so I'm going to have a full shower and like do everything properly but can you imagine doing this every day? I think we're getting there. I think we're just about there so that's probably good enough. I'm so glad I got the big bottle because I've been using a bit of it. I'm going to splash my face with water. I can't really show you anything because my tripod's broken. But like, it's just washing my face. Who cares? Oh my God. All right, going to try and keep the pimples at bay. So I've got a few spots that I know are like problem areas that I'll focus on. Also, if I spot bits where I think a pimple's got to form, that's where I put things on. And then the moisturizer, kind of the most important thing for me because it stops my skin producing too much oil. So yeah, it kind of like fools the body into thinking that you've got enough there or, you know, I mean, is it fooling it when really there is enough there? And if it does too much, then I got pimp pimples. Also, I just wanted to show you these lines on my face, right? I think that's like, yeah, when I do the smiley thing, those things form and that's like kind of imprinted on my face now. I don't know if I buy the idea that moisturizer is going to fix that, but I think like when I don't have makeup, it looks fine. It only looks weird when I've got all the foundation and it kind of cakes together and sort of emphasizes them in a weird way. So like, you know, I find it strange that um, the makeup is supposed to like make people look better, but then it kind of makes some things worse. And then I guess chicks spend a lot of money on skincare when actually <laughs> it's a problem caused by the makeup maybe. But I mean, hey, if you can cause more problems and then sell people the fix, that's a good business model for you, right? So I put a bit of extra moisturizer there though, just cause she said to. But I don't see how that's going to change anything. I think that's just like the shape of my face. Um, and no amount of product is going to change that. 
So yeah, maybe it's a matter of finding the right product to sort of smooth over those bits or stop it from caking, or maybe I put too much on and maybe that's what happened. Um, I don't know. And I don't even know if it's something to be a concern about. Like, did anyone notice that until I pointed it out? I'm not entirely sure. So that's pretty much my routine, but I'm also just going to use some Dermaid because I do get a few little things on my neck when I use my, um, my spiked collars, but I like my spiked collars too much to like stop wearing them. Also like some of the cheap jewelry that I've got I think does it. Um, so I can feel some bits, I don't know what it looks like, but I can just feel some bits that are a bit off there. Also sometimes with my glasses, after a while these bits do flare up and so I just need a little bit of Dermaid to settle that down. Um, the only other thing that I ever use is like, um, I had some other kind of thing on my skin and my doctor said don't use this um, because if it's the wrong thing it might actually make it worse. So definitely check with your doctor about this stuff. So I think I'm mostly clean. Okay, something that I haven't been able to clean properly is like, can you see where the lines in my lip are? That's where some of the stain has sort of gotten really deep in there and so that's not coming out anytime soon. That happens with the black sometimes as well a bit, but who really cares? Not me. Anyway, so here's me with a clean face and that did take a while, but definitely not as long as putting on the makeup and definitely not as long as last night. I think that's partly because of me being systematic, using the stronger stuff first up, not being stingy with it. Um, I don't know if my lack of setting powder made a difference though. Um, and I don't know if this is how long it takes everyone or if I'm just being obsessive and paranoid about trying to clean my skin up. But that's how I'm doing it for now. I'm sure like if I do it more, I'll get better at it. Maybe I'll find better products for it or someone will give me advice. Someone will watch my video and be like, no girl, you're doing it wrong. Here's how to do it. So yeah, <laughs> if anyone does happen to watch this and has better tips for me, chuck them in the comments. Of course, I'm not gonna trust you straight up because the internet is a strange place, but if you can point me in the right direction to do some research, That'd be cool. Thanks for joining me for another weird random <laughs> makeup video. I think like, you know, this week has been kind of more the girly week. Next week I've got to get back into the more of the tech stuff because if my tripod is broken, that's going to be annoying to film stuff, at least with my phone. I'm going to have to get back to filming on my webcam, I guess. Maybe do some live streams. <laughs> I don't know about Stardew Sunday, but um, maybe I'll do some gaming stuff then. That gives me some time to find a new tripod. But yeah, we're probably going to get back into more of a tech week. And then I could potentially go down the rabbit hole of like um, getting a proper video camera kind of thing. I don't know. This is so convenient though. Like, and you know, putting the phone in different places is a lot easier than putting a whole big, you know, DSLR somewhere. But anyway, no, definitely to get the tripod, I could get carried away with that other gear. I have drooled over some sound gear. So yeah, hopefully I am sensible and just get the tripod, but you never know with me because I go through like these periods of trying different things. This has been the makeup week. We did the dating app thing. I I think this is a side effect of me having a weak sense of self and not really knowing who I am. And I can't even see the camera. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my glasses on. Ah, oh, hello again. Yes, so anyway, thanks for joining me for this. I am going to go and chill out and get into lazy clothes and... I should probably clean the mess over.